Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm answering a question that I saw, which is, how do you prevent a negative SEO attack? Now, for those who don't know what negative SEO is, that is a tactic where a competitor might do things uh, to negatively affect your SEO. So in past years, uh, one of the things that people used to do was point uh, spammy links. They would point links from all kinds of nefarious sites toward your site as a means of uh, affecting it negatively. Uh, but in recent years, Google has discounted uh, links from those types of sites to a site, be I think in part because of negative SEO, and they just generally don't have that much weight if they're from some completely different category to your site. So those would include uh, sites from uh, links from sites like gambling, adult, uh, you know, Viagra spam, those sorts of things, you know, bad neighborhood types of sites. Uh, but I've heard of, of people, you know, being affected by this. Uh, in the past, I've, I've read articles where people say they got negative SEO'd because uh, somebody built links with all kinds of, uh, you know, spammy anchor text uh, in them. The anchor text is the words inside the link. Uh, that's what we call anchor text. So people put stuff uh, like, you know, porn movie here or something like that, you know, all kinds of like nefarious underhanded stuff. And that affected people. And, you know, this is more like five years ago. But what's really funny is, is I do see that there are, you know, people who are good at SEO and, and they get these types of links all the time. Um, you know, specifically, you know, people in, in the SEO industry are kind of, they're weird about it. It's very ego driven. And, and, you know, when people, you know, rank number one for vanity keywords like, you know, uh, New York SEO or Los Angeles SEO or, you know, whatever, uh, Miami SEO, whatever it is, people get weird and they, they do all kinds of weird things to, to try and knock people off because of jealousy and all that kind of thing. So what I've seen is sometimes in these cases where people rank really high and people have this jealousy thing is people build these types of links still and they'll point these, you know, all kinds of like weird anchor text toward people, all kinds of links from like really bad, you know, neighborhood sites, but it doesn't seem to have an effect. So what that tells me, uh, these things not having any effect in, in 2019 going into 2020 is Google actually does look at the context of the links and they can kind of get a sense of whether somebody's building those links just to try and harm you or not. And they kind of discount those links. Uh, the second thing that it tells me is the sites that generally bounce back from that type of negative SEO attack are the ones that already have a bunch of backlinks uh, from a robust array of sites pointing at their website. So, I would say the number one thing that you can do to prevent a negative SEO attack having an effect on your site is to be proactive about link building. Uh, be proactive about getting links from you know natural places that would link to you. Uh, you know, so not just your social profiles, you know, but also do things you know, chamber of commerce, industry sites, other industry directories. You know, you got friends in your particular industry. They have websites. They have businesses. Maybe they link to you as a strategic partner. Maybe they just give you a link just out of courtesy, way to help you out, way to help your business uh, a, a little bit. But there's other things that you can do like creating great content that'll earn links and going out and, and being proactive about trying to get links from other places with the quality of your content. Because you know nobody wants to link to your services page, generally speaking. Uh, but if you create content that's, that's gonna generate links, uh, then that's going to help your site overall and it's going to help shield you from that negative SEO attack and when people do get jealous of you and try and build those uh, negative SEO links to your site, that's going to bounce off <laughs> the proverbial chest like bullets off a, a Superman's chest. It's, it's just going to bounce off and not have uh, any effect. But the sites that seem to be affected most are the ones that you know are not proactive about links. Maybe they're newer websites. They're not that uh, seasoned. They're not, they haven't been around for a long time and so they don't have a lot of links. Those are ones that seem to be affected. Now the second thing that you can do to prevent a negative SEO attack, because I've heard of this happening, and it's very interesting. Now I've, I've heard a story from another colleague of mine um, 
that they do they have a big e-commerce store and uh, one of their competitors was doing a negative SEO attack by doing a DDoS attack and that is a denial distributed denial of service attack so basically what it is is it ties up your server resources to when people try and go to your page they get uh, like an error, like a 502, like service not available because the server resources are being depleted. So yeah, distributed denial of service attack, a DDoS, uh, that seemed, according to, to my colleague, it seemed to have uh, an effect because uh, what they were saying is their competitors were being very strategic about it and they were doing it around the Black Friday time. And you know, right when they would do that, uh, the, the days that they would do that um, and the weeks when they would do that, the competitors, uh, their own site, uh, when they were getting hit with this, uh, seemed to, to take a little dip in the rankings. Uh, but then it, it went back when the DDoS uh, attacks subsided. So one thing that you might consider is, is getting on good hosting. Now you want to get on good hosting anyway, something like a Kinsta or a WP Engine uh, because they have systems in place. They have good fast hosting for one, and that's going to help you with your time to first byte, um, and it's going to help your page load speed. Page speed is a minor factor. I wouldn't say it's the most important factor, but it is a factor. Uh, and, and you want to have a fast site. I mean, that can be the difference maker if you're in a competitive, um, if you have a lot of competition for, for the specific terms that you're trying to rank for, that can be the difference maker. So for that reason, you're wanna, gonna wanna get on good hosting, but they also have you know, systems, distributed data centers, that can help with uptime to where you're not um, experiencing these DDoS attacks. But the other thing that I would say is, if you really feel like somebody is doing this to you, or, or you have a very large site and you fear this happening to you, one thing you could do is, is uh, get a, uh, a DDoS protection um, service from something like Cloudflare. Uh, those uh, services can help you know keep those attacks at bay and help you have more uptime with your site to where when customers and when Googlebot goes to crawl your site they're not getting a uh, 502 error which is basically like you know the server can't give the browser the page can't give the customers the page or it can't give Googlebot the page because the server resources are being absolutely depleted by these millions of bots that are like pinging your site and it's death by a thousand paper cuts that's basically what a ddos attack is so those are two things that i would say can really help prevent a negative seo attack in 2019 be really proactive about building up uh, a robust link profile and especially if you're a newer site um, not saying that, that people are savvy enough to do this to you uh, in most local competition or most people don't want to be found out so they're not going to do this Though this does happen in, in some competitive fields, people you know do weird things. Um, <laughs> but uh, the other thing, make sure that you get some DDoS protection. Um, like I said, the Cloudflare is, Flare is one of the places that offers that. There's other places that do this as well. Get on good uh, hosting. Don't go for the $5 or $10 a month hosting because um, what's gonna happen is your site is gonna if you do have a DDoS attack, or even if you have a spike in natural traffic, those sites are gonna go down. So do invest in hosting. Make sure that you're paying for it. I mean, you pay more than that in coffee <laughs> per month. Then, So invest in good hosting. There's, there's lots of good places out there. Uh, my name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here every single day making videos on SEO. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, I will be here tomorrow, and until next time, peace.